Yeah, first race, uh, first one hurdles in two years. I think it's a good start. Definitely a lot to build upon. Um, and yeah, just happy to be back out here competing in it. And your stride pattern, did you do just what Bobby told you? What was it? Yeah, I think it really was feeling it out. So it was mostly 15s, which we knew was going to happen. I think, like I said, it was getting the qualifying mark. Um, I think there was a few stutters. I think I wanted to go 14, but that's something to build upon. Um, I think for first race out, getting the rest off, shaking the nerves off, uh, I'll take a 52 seven. How did that last 200 feel? Not as bad as I thought it would, which I think was surprising. I, have a, I had a lot, I feel like, coming off of 10. So like I said, it's just feeling the race, feeling the strides, and that's gonna help that time come down gradually for sure. And based on how you executed this race, do you feel prepared to really execute when we get to the Olympic trials? Yeah, I think, like I said, that first one's always the hardest, just because you don't know what's gonna happen. Um, and yeah, now we have a couple weeks to go back, work on it, improve it, and US trials is always a great time. You have three rounds, you know, so there's always more to improve upon. And I think we even have a day off this year for the final. So yeah, lots of time, lots we can work on. So I'm really happy with this start. What was going through your mind? Just curious, curiosity, to be honest. What leg's gonna come? How's it gonna feel? How am I gonna feel that last 200? And I think it answered a lot of questions for us. And I think that was the point is, you know, get out there, feel it, be healthy, go back to the drawing board, and now we can really refine. Did the expectation weigh on you in any way, knowing full well that the crowd came out for you and you were last on the menu to watch your race? Did the expectation or pressure play its part in any way? I don't think so. I think that's always just motivation, you know, having people come out, watch the event, watch the sport is always great. That adrenaline kicks in when you hear them screaming and stuff. So it's really just helpful. Um, and I just get to execute whatever it is I'm trying to. And I have a bunch of amazing people cheering me on. So. Do you prefer to compete here on American soil or in Europe or anyone works for you? I love all over. I love all over the world. I mean, some of the races I've got to run in Europe have been absolutely amazing. I know watching Oslo yesterday, I was telling Andre, I remember running there in 2019 and that track is just insane in the crowd. So. I think, like I said, this year, it really is just getting ready for trials. I want to go back to Europe. I want to compete in Europe. Those races are always so fun, getting to see the world and do what I love to do. But for right now, we're in Atlanta at the Edwin Moses track meet, and it was amazing. <laughs> Talking so. about the expectations, people are used to see you breaking records. Yeah. Um, how far do you think your body can go? Sub-50? Um, I, I have no idea. You know, it's really, it's a progression. I know that... The numbers are possible, but it's a matter of getting there. And I think people don't understand as an athlete, you're not going to come out of the gates ready to do that all the time. You know, it's a human body that's actually not meant to be pushed as hard as we push it, but we're pushing it to its limits. So I just want to continue to stay healthy and day by day chip away at that and see how much faster I can get. Do you ever have days in practice where you're like, okay, wow, maybe I can go a little bit further. Maybe I can hit something really, really big. Do you yeah. have those kind of days? I think it's further into the season for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but I think every day is getting closer to that, you know, and I love to see progress. I'm a athlete who needs to see little things chip away. So every day for me is what can I improve upon? How can I see that progress uh, to know that I'm headed in the right direction? Even though I know you focus on your lane, yeah. what's it like though where you have a place to get spent but hardly at all, but yeah. some people in other events race yeah. their competitors all the time. Yeah, I mean it builds anticipation in our event for sure. Um, she's doing her thing and it's amazing and I'm working on my thing. So I think it just makes for really great matchups when they do happen and a lot of anticipation around our event, which like I said, over the last few years has come to a huge culmination in the 400 hurdles, which is so cool. Um, and the talent in the US and all over the world just it makes big stages this that much more exciting. So, how many did were you at the finish? Um, I think that first 400 always takes a little something out of you, but I was shocked that I wasn't as exhausted as I thought it would be. So, like I said, it's just putting the race together and, and making sure those stride patterns are what they're supposed to be. And you did mention you were maybe watching Oslo. I mean, mm -hmm. of course we have like yeah. Stockholm. We have other meets coming up. Yeah. Like, do you keep tabs on whether it's Femke or anyone else, like yeah. what they're doing in the hurdles? Um, I think all events, you know, like I was watching Jenna yesterday yeah. in the two, just like, I think I love to always see what the sport has going on and seeing where people are at. Um, of course, by people in my event as well, but I think I'm just a fan of the sport, you know, and I love seeing people push their bounds because it makes me want to push mine even more. So you talk about marketing of the sport from yeah. a this perspective. How much do you think you bring to the sport, judging by what you've done today and the crowd? Yeah, I know there's a huge responsibility that comes with it. I mean, I think 
things even like social media are a huge opportunity for our sport to grow. So I take it very seriously. I want to be the best ambassador I can be. Um, and also just bring young kids into the sport so that they can come and surpass everything I'm trying to do now. So. And then, of course, you, you know, dabbled into the 400 last year. Back in the 400 hurdles this yeah. year, you know, we asked about your goals. And of course, yeah. we're going to the Olympics, um, hopefully with trials and everything. Yeah. Do you envision yourself maybe dipping back into the 400, maybe after you win gold, maybe after you get another world record, right? You know, we talk about all kinds of events, to be honest. <laughs> we kind of talk about everything. So, I mean, we talk about, you know, maybe the four, maybe the two, like just keeping it fun. I don't know. I love to do a little bit of everything. Yeah. So there's a good chance you could see multiple things. I don't know. Bobby said you wanted to run some more twos last year. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Wanted to do it. It. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Have a good one.